Okay, in this lecture, let's work on a plan how to study. A study plan is like a path to your destination. So let's get some facts in place about the training you. Coming up with the initial plan to know where you are and where you want to go and how you're going to get there. You just can't start driving without looking at the map and directions, etc. We all know that. So there are several different factors. How much experience do you have with Oracle Cloud that will change your approach to this train? How many hours per week are you studying? The more time that you have to devote to studying and hands-on practice, the faster you will able to complete all the training material. If you have very little time for studying, it will take you longer. Very simple. Also, can you make that time every day and can you honor that commitment? That is very important. We can put this plan out, but if you are not going to honor the, the commitment to the plan, it's going to be very difficult. Ideally, if you can continuously train as planned, so as we show here on the screen, if you can plan that, great. But I know not everyone has that luxury due to life commitments. But if this training is high on your list, you will try and make up for the lost time, if any. Again, a week without studying, you're going to start to forget things. And finally, the opposite is also true. You can't just sit down on a Friday and a Saturday and Sunday and go through this course and expect you will be prepared to sign up for the part two training on Monday. That's not possible. If you really do need to give yourself the time to practice, to learn the information, to let your brain absorb it, then I have put this plan together, a little sample study plan for you. It's in PDF and I'm going to attach it to the video. So here's what the sample calendar looks like. So basically what I want you to do is use this as a reference based on the dates on how you are going to approach the objectives, the assignments. So I have six days where you're going to work towards this training and seven day is going to be your day off to recoup. But also you can use the seven day to make up for any day you miss during the week. So don't just start studying until your brain fries. This is really on only about an hour a day. And then the seven day is off. If you've not missed any days during the week. Objectives of the exam, you see them here. So it's easy for you to reference and summarize what you've covered. So you're also going to have a plan that you can measure yourself against. So week one, it's going to be introduction. So there are around seven lessons you can go through. They are small. They are very basic. It's just you don't have to study here. It's talking about why you want to do this training and why Oracle. Uh, on the day two, we are going to talk about the certification. And again, we are going to talk about this plan, which you will see on the day two. On the day three, you're going to talk about I am service overview and we are going to go to a couple of chapters in that we are going to continue with day four in the same I am service overview. And again, on day five, we are going to continue with the overview uh, on day six, which are planned that you redo all the weekly lab you've gone through and do some practice and get comfortable and actually get confident. The way you will do very well, if you can do all the lab work, which you've learned during the week without looking at the reference material. So it should be by heart to you. On week two, we will go through the Oracle Cloud Foundation Network. There are a couple chapters there. Then we are going to talk about the internet protocol, IP addresses, 
how they are used in the cloud network. We are talk, going to talk on the day three of the second week for compute instances. And again, the compute instances, we are going to continue for day four. And finally, we are going to cover all the remaining compute instances detail on day five. Day six, again, you're going to work through all the labs you've done during the week. And again, you are going to do this by heart without looking at the reference material. This way, you're going to gain confidence. On week three, you will look at the black storage. Uh, we'll continue with the day two on week three with black storage on day three and four. We'll look at the object storage. And then on day five, we're going to redo all the weekly lab. And again, you're not going to look at the reference material. Same, you're going to complete for uh, completely try and do the lab for everything you missed in the prior weeks without any reference material. The week four, which is the final week, we're going to look at the load balancer, how it is used in the Oracle Cloud Network. We're going to spend two days of that week to go through the balancer. This is a very important topic and it is the core to this training. Then we are going to look at DNS domain name system. We're going to look at the databases. This is basic databases and why they are used. Again, you're going to use the final two days to complete all the lab work. And again, without looking at the reference material and the final fifth week, you're going to review everything you've done in the past four weeks. And hopefully you'll be very confident to sign up for the advanced class, which is basically going to get you certified as an associate architect in 1Z0932 associate architect certification exam.